Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64 with my feet. Oh, we're I'm still Vickers. doing this? <laughs> yes, and with me today are Dazzling Adder and Brother Entropy. The hiatus is over. Yeah, sorry about the little uh, delay and updates here. I kind of had real life stuff going life. on and I'm also lazy. It's, it's kind of a combination that, of the That two. still counts as real life though. <laughs> That's you true. You were lazy in real life, we can accept that. Mm-hmm. But I do also have a job. Anyway, welcome to Tall Tall Mountain. Which is the stage that taught me how to do long jumps. <laughs> yes, uh, there's quite a few mandatory long jumps in this stage. It's annoying. Mm-hmm. And this is what happens very often. So we're going to see a lot of speed up here. I'm going to try to cut out a lot of stuff like this. And as I go further in the video, it gets a little bit better. So um, hopefully that'll be okay. But yeah, that that <laughs> to get across that thing, you pretty much have to long jump. The second one, you can just jump across, but I usually long jump since my feet are in that position anyway, and it's safer. This was always one of the more memorable levels to me. It's, it's got big mushrooms and things. I, I not to me. Like that's this just seems like filler to me. I don't know. Didn't didn't you tell me you barely even remembered Tall Tall Mountain a little earlier? Probably. Ooh. Uh, Brother Entropy. Yeah, yeah, probably, because, I don't know, it just... Because it wasn't me, I just said this man was... <laughs> no, it wasn't don't you, Don't contradict I was not me! No, it was, he wasn't... <laughs> but no, yeah, I just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem very... unique? I don't know. Well, mm. it has, it has some stuff that I like in it. It's not very pretty looking. Yeah, I'll give you that, it's, it's very gray. It was before its time! Very, uh, late 2000s FPS. <laughs> That's true. Anyway, we just activated the cannon, and that won't actually come into play until the end of the video, so... Well, it's good to do it. Mm-hmm. It does, however, mean that we're gonna have to <laughs> go, like, climb all the way back up here. Oh, and, that uh, Chuck, yeah, he just can't be defeated. <laughs> nope, never. <laughs> I wonder how many people I'm gonna ca catch with that one. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure by now they've already... I think they're gonna fall for it again. You know, fall for it because you did it, because you did it on purpose. Well, now that you said something, yeah. Speaking of falling for things again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I'm not very good at that corner, so I'm just going to pretend it doesn't exist because this level is very good for having multiple paths. This is one of the memorable areas to me. I like the little vine thing. Yeah, it's, it's a nice texture that it doesn't really get used anywhere else. Can you, like, climb it or what? Or... No, it's just kind of back there and you jump up these ledges. But you can no. climb that. Uh, yes, you can. We won't be doing that just yet, though. That's all it has is coins. Anyway, one of the things about this level is that, as you can see, it's completely vertically arranged. It's a mountain, guess well, that makes a, sense. Yeah. But, um, what that means is that pretty much all of the stars have you going upwards, and there's there's a bunch of them at the top of the mountain, there's a bunch around the sides of the mountain, and sometimes I do that. Good to know. That is a loud monkey. <laughs> yes, it is a loud monkey. He will steal your hat, so watch the hell out for him. Yeah, he's a, he's a real asshole. And this is another mm -hmm. thing, there's another log. I like logs. Yep. Logs are cool too, except this time we're doing it over the beginning of the stage. This is arguably worse than magma. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because, well, yeah, because because if you hit magma, you, maybe you can like jump back up on it. Mm-hmm. I mean, they'll they'll both send you back to the start of the stage. Magma's just a little more forgiving about it. I don't know where those where those bricks come or from. The steel balls come from. Cannonballs. They just kind of appear above you. In terms you. of design, this level is actually sort of like the inverse of Cool Cool Mountain. How's, how's that? That's true, because you, you start at the top and have a bunch of different oh, ways wait, to get to the oh, bottom. I was thinking cool, Snowman's cool Land. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's exactly like that. That's why we're going around this giant snowman. Cool, cool Mountain makes a lot more sense. See, Good for job. some reason, I just I just can't do this. It's long jumps, man. This is this is what gets you good at them, because you have to do them all the time. This is like a kryptonite. Exactly. By the end of this video, I am a pro at them, though. Don't have any trouble with them. And these guys are also unique to the level, I think. I don't even think it's these guys, it's that dude. Oh. <laughs> he just blows he, wind at you and yeah, you go flying. Yeah, like he didn't even do anything. 
Yeah, he's he, looking. I don't even know what kind of activates him, but. And that texture actually does do something. Yes, that one will like slow you down. Anyway, this is a thin platform uh -oh. over a place that we've already fallen down before, so I'm just going to take it nice and slow. If I were you, I would just get down and crawl. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I could do that, but... Nah, you don't need it. On the plus side, the first star is very easy once you make it to the top of the mountain. Here we go! It's the journey, not the destination. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Which I'm happy for, because the second star has a lot more to do with the destination. It's, is it me or is like that painting like smaller than most of the others? Like yeah, it's actually it is, kind of yeah. misleading. If you're not paying attention, you can Pickle. easily miss it. Mhm. Mm it's it's in the main level for the second floor or the main room for the second floor, but it's not like there's basically nothing that says this is a level except for the fact that it's one of the uh, only it's one of the only paintings that doesn't show up anywhere else in the game. Right. It also makes a little rippling effect if you get close to it. Yeah, if you happen to be running Mario into walls, then you might notice it. One of the that things that's actually made easier by playing with your feet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if this was my first time, I would definitely know that. One annoying thing about the uh, long jumps is that because I'm like lifting the controller up and putting it down a lot, it kind of forces me to have a lot of downtime where I'm adjusting the controller and making sure that it's still in the frame so that you don't catch half a controller for the entire video. Right. And as you can see, I'm just not even going to try that thin ledge over uh, down the way here. I'm just going to climb up this, even if it gives me a little trouble. Or a lot of trouble. Oh, the camera here isn't really your friend in the first place, so it's excusable. Yeah. No, and what, I, what I'm trying to do is one of those jumps where you like go side you to turn, side yeah, and Mario like kind of... Yeah, that. that. But... It's, it, I don't know, sometimes I can do it right away, other times it just takes me a bunch of tries. It's a little it. finicky. Yeah, exactly. And, like, feet aren't exactly the most precise <laughs> thing. As we have brought up before, yes. On the plus side, I may or may not make that jump on the first time. I don't actually remember. I don't know why it'll, that's a plus. It'll be a surprise. <laughs> one of there those we go. One of those things is definitely true. One of those things, yes. Oh, look at me. Nice. The plus side is that you have a big enough target on that side where even though it kind of looks like you could fall if you miss it, it if, you do, if you do the long jump, odds are you're going to make it over to the other side. Of course, doing the long jump is half of the battle. Yeah, that's the, that's the hard part. Yeah, that's, that's where it comes in. See, that was, that was much faster than the first attempt to get up there. I think I edited like 10 minutes of footage on the first star down to two and a half or so. <laughs> And then this star, we, we get up to the top much more quickly. Hey, there's two scar there's two stars on screen. That's actually kind of unique. Hmm, yes, that doesn't act that doesn't happen very often. We will only be getting one of them for now though. Shockingly. Like <laughs> potentially you could get your hundred corn star there and then you would have three stars on the screen, and that is interesting to me because I don't know. By the way, monkey. Because numbers. I'm just gonna let this play. Uh, should we like be playing some music here, or is yeah, that like Silent like... Hill? No. <laughs> well, what else I mean, would you that's play? Definitely overplayed. <laughs> well, like, what we other could... options are there? We could play the Beaver Bother theme. Would you? Would you really want that? <laughs> yeah, More than Benny the Hill. <laughs> <laughs> that monkey was brought up in the thread as something very annoying, and that's also the reason why you don't want him to steal your hat, like the one down there to steal your hat, because if he does that. That's what you'll be doing to get it back. <laughs> it's probably the most annoying hat steal like in the game. But this guy's nice. You catch him once, he gives you a star, and you never have to bother with him again. I don't think this is nice, though. I mean... Oh, no, he steals it. You kind of just exploited him. <laughs> it may be a, a little... monkey exploitation. It ends up here. I have nothing to say. I'm ashamed. <laughs> That's basically what Mario does, comes and claims all of your power stars for his own, even if you're the natives. <laughs> oh, I feel there's a, is, there's a narrative metaphor here. Yeah, let's not go in this direction. That's a good point. This is another star that gave me a lot of trouble. 
Also, I don't like the beginning of this level, where, especially where I have to stop and set myself up, so I just started speeding this up. Yeah, you had to show your distaste for the ground by slamming it with your butt a couple of times. Yes, that too. Also, if you notice that my life counter just jumped down, if you notice that my life counter oh, yeah. just jumped down to zero... <laughs> Did not notice yeah, that. Yeah, there, there were some uh, attempts taken out of this. I was kind of wondering why you weren't getting that one-up mushroom on your way up. It would have been helpful. Hmm. It would have, but I'm, I'm much too oh, well. manly for that. Okay. Anyway, once... <laughs> Once that section of the level's over on those thin platforms that you can't really grab onto that are over a fall to your certain doom, this part of it is actually much easier, because the last four coins in the level are just up this climb that we've been doing the whole time. In this little mole infested area? Yes, they, they can actually become a little bit annoying, but we don't have to worry about them since we're this high up. Unfortunately, the star spawns there, and wow, that's kinda... pretty sure at least one of my takes has me dying trying to get onto there. So you just gotta jump for it, or what? Like pretty much. Or if you're um, daring, you could do this. Oh god. Mm. Um, I don't think daring is quite the right word. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Well, it all worked out in the end, after mm -hmm. you, have, you went from six lives to zero. I'm pretty sure what happened when I fell off trying to get the star was I tried to jump down onto the, le onto the uh, ledge so that I could make a longer jump onto the mushroom, and I fell off there. So I was just like, okay, you know what, let's just take more chances at falling out of the equation and do that. This star is probably one of the only stars I can think of that are really genuinely difficult to find. Yeah, I would say so. Just because if you're not paying much attention, you probably won't notice that, once I pick this up, the walls over here look kind of weird. That's not just, like, N64 graphics, though. Well, they want you to think that. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Well, it, it worked. Yes, it was it was them playing with your expectations. Welcome to the final slide of the game. It's probably my favorite, too. It, it honestly is the most interesting, because instead of a penguin, it's just, like, a weird obstacle course. And also, you want to pay attention to these arrows, because if you don't... You see that skull back there? That's Whoa. just a ledge. The little symbols in the background actually remind me a little bit of Super Mario World, where the three-up icon was a moon. Oh, yeah, with the, with the faces and everything. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a Mario Kart, the Rainbow Road. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's Little too. happy stars and moons. And yeah, everything. there's just like a billion things going on in the background. It's really like a very interesting looking slide, and I appreciate it for that. And the star's right here, but we don't need that. Why did you do that? <laughs> Well, you'll notice that we have 56 coins. Oh, okay. Why mm -hmm. did you do that? Right, right. Because I don't want the star, star spawning on the slide. <sighs> that actually makes sense. <laughs> See, there's, there's a method to my madness. There's logic. And there's actually, I'm very proud of myself for, uh... The, the, this whole run through because that wasn't a, that was actually the, like the first take of this level that I did the slide there. I did not even die on it. Yeah, it's actually not too difficult if you know what's coming, because there's mm -hmm. no asshole penguin that's going Whoa. to shove you off the edge. Yeah, exactly. What are, what are you doing? What am I doing? He's stalking that box so as to take <laughs> it by surprise. Well, he. He forgot about it, so... Well, that's the thing about the hunt! Uh, that's one of those jumpy boxes, and you're near a ledge, and yeah, I that's... wasn't gonna have anything to do with that. Oh, you coward. Even even doing these is kinda getting me, you know, like, antsy while I'm doing it. I'm thinking, you know what, maybe those three coins aren't worth it. Well, that one's pretty easy, so I could get that. But yeah, that, that those other ones on that little one, no yeah, way. Not happening. Kinda risky. You already did the slide once. I, I just did that slide once, I don't want to do it ten more times. Well, actually, I misspoke. The, the hidden slide in the castle is definitely the easiest one, but... The one <laughs> that is, um... <laughs> Shut up! Yeah. 
You know, I, I'm laughing what? at him. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's Whoop. what you say now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good at this. These bomb mobs just love me. At least I'm, I'm one for three. You I'm happy one. for that. Here's me not killing a Chucky again. He can't be defeated. He just He just went away. <laughs> he gave you some coins. He teleported. He's a nice guy. He decided it wasn't worth the trouble. Let's see... I haven't actually been looking at the, wind, the video because I was checking to see that Tall Tall Mountain does in fact have 137 coins. Pretty generous. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not not the lowest, not the highest. Any any level with a slide will generally have quite a few. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it means you can skip those red coins without much of a hassle. Though then again, this... if you factor in the slide, there's actually not a lot of coins on the Oof. Ooh, overworld. Ick. <laughs> yep. That's why you that's why you gotta be careful about those kinds of things. But according to this guide that I love so much, there are 47 yellow coins and three blue coins on the slide. So yeah, it is it's not possible to get a hundred coins without going through the slide. Right. Wow, who documented that? <laughs> it's, it's our good buddy. Bright guy, who I gave a shout out to in the last video, and I guess is now getting another one. Well, he deserves it, cause that's kind of <laughs> yeah, impressive. <laughs> Good job, man. Someone's gotta do that work. And not impressive in the way of like a lot of other guides out there that tell you completely meaningless things. That's actually like useful. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's also the way that we know that we can't that uh, that whole. No, that whole number thing with the number of coins in the game being the same as the L is real thing isn't the exact number of coins in the game, but it's really close. I... Uh -huh. I did that's, that's that... actually the source of that rumor where I think if you collect all the coins in the game, you get Luigi. I think it still says, like, Grand Star, whatever it was. Eternal Star, Eternal yeah. Star, yeah. That makes much more sense to me, and I, if you disagree with it, then I don't care. Yeah, it's a I, Mario was, game. I was too young to have regular access to the internet when I was first playing this game, so I don't actually know a lot of this stuff. Mm, if you disagree with it, well, show us some proof. <laughs> if you disagree with it, well, okay. That's a shame, <laughs> I guess. Oh well. Just like that Goomba no. taking his own life. Such a waste. Yep. <laughs> now, I was considering going for these coins, but I didn't really want the star to spawn in a place where it'd be awkward oh, well, to get to. Oh, you have to jump really so... high. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I probably could have made it, but I... So instead you get it on a tiny ledge. Yeah, but that all I have to do that is press A. You should have done that earlier, so you would have had three stars. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I should have done this. I should have done the slide in the very at the very beginning. Now of the you level. can do the slide. <sighs> yes. On the plus side, the slide's right here, assuming you don't fall off. So here we go. Can I go two for two on the slide? I hope so. I, I'd hope so. <laughs> See, there's the moon. I just love giving astronomical objects smiley faces. And blue dots, I guess. Uh, yeah, what? <laughs> Maybe it's a like, full lunar eclipse? I was gonna say, like, well, if, if you want to get technical, like, that's what a star would really look like. <laughs> that's a good point. Maybe maybe it's a white dwarf or a black dwarf. Maybe it's a planet. They're, ex maybe it's, they're it's embarrassed because they're small. <laughs> I also think that whole like twisting. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> I think that whole twisting corridor, even if it cons really conspires to kill you, is a very cool effect too. No, yeah, it looks cool, but it's kind of mean. Mhm. Mm but you know, it's it's the last slide. The game's got to be difficult. Also, this is a very slippery surface, so if you don't make it in the first time, you just gotta jump around it. I'm not really sure why they did that. That's a little weird. Please, okay, thank you. I am the slide <laughs> master. Those are the only two times that I did this in, like, the entire recording session. I never died on the slide. Yeah, you needed those lives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Breathtaking view from the bridge. Mm, that it doesn't actually say the there. It's just breathtaking view from bridge. Well, it's that, it's that old thing where you autocorrect with your head. <laughs> yep, <laughs> probably wouldn't. I'm, I'm sure that that is exactly what they were expecting. Anyway, we skip back up to the top of the mountain because no one wants to see that again, and the video is getting long enough. But if you hit that switch. Mm.
it's pretty fast. I think it's possible if you angle it right to get there without hitting the switch, but oh, it's yeah, kind of yeah. When I first saw that store, I thought you had to like jump off from the top and like angle mm -hmm. it right, slide down the waterfall. Yeah, I think it's possible, but that's what you're supposed to do, and that's what makes it really easy. And to whoever said it in the thread that that was an incredibly difficult star. Nah. <laughs> On the other hand, they leave you for the la they leave you with the last star that it comes completely to chance. If we ever get to it, I can see your preparations already. <laughs> See, look at that. I could make that in one try now. I am I am the long jump master. Anyway, remember when we activated that cannon? Mm -hmm. Sure, the one that you just passed up? Well, well it, it's very difficult to get down there from there because the ledge juts out and you can't... Uh, yep. okay. And there's actually winds that will like push you back up if you don't get it right. So oh, it'll, wow. it'll give you another huh. chance, but it'll still like be really difficult. And Ooh. this is just the way that I find much easier to do it. If There's also a teleport in that corner, just so everyone knows. If this was just Super Mario Sunshine, you could do it pretty easily, but we don't have a jetpack. Mm-hmm. Even if it was Mario Galaxy, you could jump down, do like and, a spin jump, yeah, and then reorient spin jump. yourself. Or you anyway. use Yoshi's flutter jump, or any manner of things, but we're going it with just the old boots this time. Mm-hmm. This is, uh... Huh. Let's call it trial and error. Yeah, I... <laughs> <laughs> One chance. Yep, you will die if you do not hit it correctly. And because the cannon fires Aww. low, you kind of just have to line up with the star and then just guess. Mamma mia. Yeah, not one of my favorite stars. It's it's very much just That's, completely left that is up pretty to chance. Neat. Yeah. Probably why I remember this level so well. <laughs> <laughs> It's also annoying because if you tie, you know, like unless you line it up with the star completely, you're gonna end up shooting off completely, like yeah, you know, to the slide, left or right of it. Off so or whatever. Yep, it's it's really tough to land on the mushroom. Though I'm sure that the first thing someone's gonna post in response to this video is, well, if you aim this cannon exactly in yeah, the middle of like, the cloud you know, on the left, then post another tool assisted video. Yeah, exactly. If if you know exactly where it's supposed to go, then this star is super easy, but. Fortunately, due it. to their immense mass and gravity, your flight was stopped prematurely when you grabbed it. Mm-hmm. Thank sure. God for that. It would have sucked if we had died. <laughs> I actually remember, I think in Mario Galaxy, there's at least one star where you literally just have to shoot yourself out and attempt to, uh, you know, like, and make an attempt to grab it. Yeah, to I, grab I a remember star that kills at you. least one or two like that. It's probably a green star. Green stars are like that. <laughs> I was thinking, what mm -hmm. about like a star surrounded by those like blue things? And oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You just point around, so like you like basically that, have too. to like. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> see, see, this is this was a video where we used the entirety of the minute I left for recording. So. Yeah, until yeah. until until you pointed out, that kind of ruined it. <laughs> <laughs>